What's up guys, this is Keelan from 2Cats3Gamers, and I am uh, playing Dragonest again. I've traded in my Sorceress for a Warrior, he just seems to be more my style. Um, I also like the environment more, I kind of like this green gardeny feel to the place. So I'm at level 3, I've done a couple missions so far, just uh, the opening dungeons. And I have a couple quests here. What do we have to do? The Red Crest sent of the temple, sent to the temple. And 2013 Summer Special Event and the Godfather Part 1. Okay, so let's do the red quest. If we click on it, it pulls up the quest again. We can hit Find Location and Elder Herod. Okay. So it should be right over here. Assuming this is the Elder. He looks kind of old. Worry is etched on the Elder's face. So quest for the red crest. I still don't know what crests are. Uh, the elder's face shows despair as you tell him the news, but why would they only take Rose and leave everyone else? My poor, poor girl. Oh, okay, so Rose is this guy's daughter. Uh, at the beginning of this game, the main storyline quest that you're given is to save this girl out in the woods. Awesome, so I received some boots here. Uh, thank you for rescuing the other villagers. If they're safe, then maybe Rose is too. Oh, I pray to the goddess that she's all right. Uh, the, the catacombs. Okay, so there's a minotaur, Omlak. I'm assuming I'm going to have to fight him. Oh, my poor Rose. Okay, I'm going after her. Uh, there's a powerful trap. But Bernstein, 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 whatever, is researching ways to remove the trap. So I need to go talk to the monk over there. <laughs> I don't really pay too much attention to storylines generally in the game, but uh, you know, this one's not bad. It's pretty standard, go and talk to people and kill things and pick things up. Okay, so Berns Bernstein. My name is Bernstein. I'm a scholar of crests. Um, okay, quest. Idle hands are no best friend. So I'm heading to the catacombs. I uh, need a way to get past the trap. I need a red crest. Bam! Okay, so monsters use crests as keys to their traps. A uh, whole crest. So, um, usually they, I have to ask Rose to help me gather supplies. Hmm. So she he sent Rose alone. Interesting. And she was guided by some sort of light, getting a little bit creepy. So he's going to craft me a crest. Bam! Uh, I have a helmet. So it's interesting. It seems like you can't start wearing the next level of equipment until level 5. But I think I just leveled up to level 5 right now. Uh, be wary of the minotaurs and the catacombs. Okay, I'm excited. I want to go kill some minotaurs. And we need to go talk to Captain Steve. Again, uh, Captain Steve reminds me of Balthier from Final Fantasy XII. Totally modeled totally after him this is my mailbox um david the legendary hero talked to me yeah okay uh collect this okay so there's a summer event going on right now and they're giving away all sorts of freebies which are pretty cool so just make sure to go into your inbox and collect all of them. Uh, if you're watching this, you've probably already played Dragon Nest before, and you probably already know that, but yeah, just to double check here. How are you today? Can I get you anything? Um, sent to the temple. Okay, so I completed that quest earlier when I wasn't recording. <laughs> it was kind of a silly quest. Uh, she wanted some perfume so she could smell really nice for Balthier, also known as Captain Steve. Just wait. Steve will save her. Let's go talk to him right now. See what I mean? This guy looks exactly like Balthier. I have something to tell you. Uh, the Royal Army has no soldiers to spare. I want to thank you for everything you've done for- Okay, let's just get to the quest. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Omlak. Gonna kill Omlak. Uh, I need to use powerful skills. Uh, and I need to learn how to dodge properly. So hit him, dodge his attacks, don't die. Fantastic. So Rose is our top priority. 
I'm off to the catacombs. I'm just going to check my inventory first because I believe I can upgrade some of my equipment. Alright, check this out. So I can wear my plus six prelude pants. And uh, I'm just going to move these down here. I can wear my prelude helmet. Fantastic. My prelude gloves. Um, when activated, your helmet is not displayed. Okay, I want to show my helmet. So. Interesting. I still don't see my helmet. Anyways, uh, that's okay. Vigilante pants. Gonna rock our vigilante pants. Uh, we have a mana potion that we're just gonna put down here. Uh, vigilante shirt. Yep, definitely looks good. Um, so those are the vigilante boots, and the prelude boots are much much better. If you've ever played Conquer Online, which is a really old kung fu MMORPG. It looks like it has the same plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five way of doing things. I'm going to stick with the sword just because uh, I really like the sword. I guess I could sell all these things because my class can't use them. Add gauntlets. Want to make sure we replace those. The gauntlets look fantastic. Wow. Okay, so water is a crafting item. Uh, so we can sell that, and we could keep this. We could sell everything here. Yeah, yeah. Steve's in a good mood today. Okay, so she has another quest for us. I didn't even pick that up at first. Uh, let me see. Rose is still missing. Is leaving Captain Steve a mess? Maybe he likes Rose. Hmm. Uh, so I need to get her more smelly herbs, and in turn I get an energy potion. Not bad. Take care of yourself. And I'm going to sell my things right here that I don't need. So let's see if right click works. That seems to work. That seems to work. That seems to work. A little like that. A little like that. I'm going to sell the hammer. Might be making a big mistake. Perhaps hammers are are the best item, but you know what? I really like the sword. Okay, so these are the summer event boxes, and I'm just gonna right click and see what it gives me. Uh, so I guess it's kind of like a lottery. I've got candy, ice cream. Hmm, I already have some of that. Open up the other one. Letter M. So part of the summer event, we need to collect all the letters. For summer and I don't even remember what you get for collecting all the letters um, because I'm just way too interested in actually playing the game and we have one more stop to make before I head out to do a dungeon so Doran looks like he has a quest nice for us what in the world was that slush you got from Delilah super slush slush Fed it to my poochum. Now he's foaming at the mouth. His poochum's about to die. Oh, okay, so that just links up with the quest that Sherry gave me. Don't listen to them. I'm the best blacksmith around. Steve will save Rose in no time. Progress and progress. Please take care of yourself. Alrighty, let's get out of here. Uh, as you can see, it does kind of have that same standard, uh, having to run around a lot and talk to people. But, I mean, it's worked for a long time. Indeed, it is kind of getting a little bit stale for some people. I don't mind it, per se. Okay, so where are we supposed to go? I need to talk to this guy, old Gobbins. El Gobbins! El Gobbins won't hurt anybody, he's just here for his grandchildren. <laughs> the Gobfather is complete. Alright, so I received a, a reward. Clearly I did this one before uh, recording the stream. Ah, uh, coffee. Mm, 
so he's missing another son here and we need to rescue him my goodness I can't even keep track of all these things it's a good thing there's an awesome quest system here so what do I have here achievements quests tons of quests okay so I need to go to the Gale Woods Yeah, it's a good thing uh, they do a good job of giving you those tools to organize the menus, to organize your quests and whatnot. I'm just going to repair my equipment beforehand. Apparently it doesn't need repairing. And we're going up in this direction. Oh, okay, we're going into the catacombs. That makes sense. What happens if I stand here? Nothing? Oh, interesting. It looked like they were spitting venom or something before. Okay, so, uh, what do I want to do? It Easy, normal, hard, master. Uh, let's do it hard. Or the recommended party size is two. So, maybe we'll just do normal for now. There are three quests in here. I feel kind of like a sissy for doing normal, but at the same time, I probably should have joined a party. Operate the switch to open the door. I'm going to head in this direction. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Hitting my combos, messing these mothers up. Oh, that was easy as pie. I don't even know why people say that. Is pie really that easy? I've tried making a pie before, and it was freaking hard, guys. I love how you can destroy the environment. But why can't I see? No. Why can't I see um my helmet? That's kind of annoying. I I want to be able to see my helmet. I think the helmet looks really cool. Hmm. If anyone watches this video and comments in the section below, could you please tell me how I can view my helmet when I'm playing? Boom! Oh, okay, so now I can operate a switch. Fantastic. My mercenary pants, get some money, that roasted clam. Just gonna hit this and see what happens. Looks like it's opening up. Oh! Well, that didn't sound very good. Okay. I guess it was for this door over here. And this is, looks like some more shit we can destroy. Wah! <laughs> Despite having an entire thing of scaffolding falling on me, uh, I'm not hurt. Oh, this looks cool. We have a new enemy. Um, he's a skeleton. Fuck you, skeleton. Wow, he died easy. But, uh, oh, we got one smelly herb. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. Boom. And the sound effects, too, the audio is just so fantastic. What's in here? What's in this bookcase? Yeah. yeah! Another one over here. Picking up all the money. And we're heading to the next dungeon. The load times are pretty darn short, huh? Okay, so I guess I have to grab this thing over here. Uh-huh. And we have enemy. It looks like we have a bat. Rescue Godfrey, who's <laughs> stuck inside the barrel. Wow, uh, he's not a very good looking guy. Not that I discriminate based on looks whatsoever. 
boom, boom, boom. Kick him in the face. Hit him with a combo. Miss my combo. You dead, sucker. Oh, I see. So the catacomb skeletons, uh, I mean, they die pretty easily, but they also regenerate themselves. Hmm. Okay, so I think I got the quest. It looks like I got the quest. I just need to defeat Unlock and uh, see what's in this chest over here. Oh, got some baddies. Boom, 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 boom. Hitting them. Freaking pile drive him. <laughs> pile drive a pile of bones. Bring it on. Wow, this game feels more like Diablo than uh, Diablo 3 did. Ah, ha, ha. Taking pot shots at Diablo 3 is totally unfair at this point. Okay, did I already activate that? Hmm. So I suppose I have to go this way. Really bad with uh, remembering what direction maps are and whatnot, or what direction I'm supposed to go. What did I pick? Picked up a bunch of stuff too. I got some pants. Ooh, level 10. And a diamond, diamond fragment. Cool. Destroying bookshelves because fuck the librarian from when I was in elementary school. I'm just joking. She was actually the sweetest librarian ever. I would never destroy her bookshelves. Here we go, gents. Combo. Combo. Are they going to regenerate on me? Huh? No, apparently not. Oh, a little bit of lag there. There we go. Man, normal is really, really easy. Uh, I suspect I should have gone hard, even though I re recommended two people for hard. That is the last time I will trust. Um, oh my, oh my, goblins everywhere. <laughs> Missing my attacks. Catacombs goblin. Man, these guys are ugly. There's a lot of loot in this game. It makes me happy. It just makes me feel good. Got an Althium Fragment. Uh, I don't know how rare those are, but they're certainly more rare than the Onyx Fragments. So that's pretty good. Whoop. Take down these bookshelves. Bookshelf was giving me a dirty look. Goodness gracious, look at us just destroying these bats and bookshelves and whatnot. This would never fly in real life. You would be considered uh, dangerous. You'd be considered one of those people that just destroys the environment. I bet these skeletons are like an endangered species. Alright, here we go. Pick up some copper. Wonder how much money do I have at this point? Uh, 70 silver. Huh. Pretty rich, guys. Though, people who play these games that put a lot of money into them end up just having obscene amount of riches. It's it's kind of ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie, though. I would love to get to that point in a game. Just be, like, so super leap. Just destroy everything. Oh, it's Rose! we we'll be looking for you, Rose. Somebody help. Somebody help! Do something! You look like a wizard! Where did this guy come from? Oh my goodness, he's gonna get killed by Umlak! Alright, I got this. I got this, guys. Back up. Back up. Maybe not. Oh my goodness, Umlak, you're scary as dicks! I can't dodge. Oh my goodness. Jump. Jump. He's chasing me. Goblack is chasing me. He's wearing a giant iron diaper. Oh. He actually doesn't do much damage, but uh, he certainly knocks me over and hits pretty hard. There we go. Doing a little bit of dodging out of the way. Hit you right in the crotch for critical damage. 
stupid cow. I'm gonna turn you into beefcakes and eat you for dinner. Doing a combo. Doing another combo. Missing my combo. Doing another one. Looks like he's gonna hit me. Roll out of the way. Yeah. Stupid cow. Oh my goodness. What we are doing is state of the art cow tipping, ladies and gentlemen. Man, this guy is stupid. I should be using my combos way more. Roll out of the way here. Doesn't even. Oh no, run away! Ugh. Goodness gracious, these guys are scary. Could you stop? I mean, these little skeletons are just so annoying. They don't even do anything. At least Umlak knocks me over. Ah! There we go, right out of the way. Those spider reflexes. They'll call me Spider Man for nothing. If they did call me Spider Man. No, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Oh, here we go. Two hit combo. One hit combo. I wonder what the biggest combo you can get is. So let me see. That does 52 damage. This goes up to 17. Huh. And it's over. Dungeon is cleared. Looks like I might get something for it. Can you die already? Thank you, Mr. Cow. Okay, so max combo. That <coughs> was a 19 hit bonus. Oh, they don't give you enough time to look at that screen. I got 4,016 experience. Choose wisely. Ugh. It could have been worse. Looks like I got a bronze chest. And it is a crude artite ore. Uh, perhaps a merchant will buy this item off you. Huh? So I guess I just sell it to a merchant for a little bit of money. Trick is to get the gold chest there if you haven't figured that out. And here we are. Four eight copper. Eight copper. After I, I uh, defeat a dungeon, I like to destroy everything in the dungeon. Um, just to destroy shit, just because it's fun. And also because it drops stuff, right? Can I, can I kill this? Yes! Any game where I can destroy stuff is a good game. There we go. Just beating stuff up left, right, and center. Killing the wheelbarrow. Why do they even have a wheelbarrow full of stones sitting in here? Or why do they even have bookcases for that matter? Like, what are minotaurs and skeletons doing? Reading books. Well, I suppose they're trying to educate themselves. Kudos to them, right? Alright, let's get out of the dungeon. Press F12 to exit the dungeon. Where would you like to go? Um, I guess I'd like to go to town. Notice when you press F12, it also takes a uh, screenshot because that's the default key for a Steam shot on Steam. Oh, glorious coffee. Why are you so good to me? Uh, no, don't open that ever again today. I love this game. I don't love your advertisements. Though, you know what? There is actually a lot of cool stuff um, to buy in the game store, in the game shop, and uh, I will actually probably make use of it. Some people don't like having game shops, game stores, uh, pay, you know, pay for, to pay for items and pay for skins and whatnot, but I really don't mind it, you know, like, uh, if you want to put a little bit of money into it, that's fine. I don't think there's a problem with putting a little bit is when people put in obscene amounts of money into the game and they just don't make it fun for for anybody else or eh, I don't know it's controversial I'll have to think about that a little bit more let's talk to Captain Steve the safety of Ironwood Village is in our hands okay completed the catacomb killed Omlak unbelievable I uh, can't believe you've done this I did save them but they ran away I wonder who this Timothy guy is. Just popped out of nowhere, this peasant, to save her. Okay, so I got some pants. Prelude pants. Uh, are they better than the ones I'm wearing? They are. The, it increases my defense by two and increases my magic defense by one. I receive my reward. Oh, glowing blue. Fantastic. Militiaman Darcy is stationed in Shadow Forest. It's possible he may have seen Rose and Timothy. Okay. Always remember the brave militia of Ironwood Village. The brave militia of Ironwood Village. Have you noticed that... In these games, they always have British accents. What's up with that? Hmm. 
Okay, so I need to talk to her. Quest. Care package. Got the herbs. I think it smells disgusting. And I'm receiving my reward. Give me my reward. Do it. Give it to me. Alright, so I need to talk to her again. There's another quest in progress here. Uh... Oh my goodness, there's so much text. I'm not going through all of it. Okay, so I need to collect more stuff for her. It seems like this is that horrible lady who just makes me collect stuff for her. Why do you still have an exclamation mark above you? Man, this girl is annoying. Oh, I see. To be level 7 to do this. I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm just clicking forward, forward, forward. <laughs> okay, do I have to talk to anybody else in here? No, I don't think so. I'm opening up my inventory to see if I can wear anything cool. Uh, yeah, why not? Um, required level 8? Okay. I guess I should sell all these things since I'm not using them anymore. Um, wear these. Sell these. I'm starting to look pretty cool, guys. Mm. Okay, so we'll close this. Look at me. Wow. Got some pantaloons. Steve's in a good mood today. Okay, so trade and repair. And again, right click. Okay, right click. I wonder if I can press enter. I can. Oh. There we go. See anything you like. How much money did I make? Oh, I have my first gold. Look at that. Okay, let's go talk to old gubbins. And uh, we are almost done for this little package of quests that we're doing here today. Uh, trying to keep the videos relatively short and uh, play in small segments because it's more difficult to watch these super long videos where you just get tired and tedious. I find that it's difficult to watch videos for that long as well just to, to stay focused even if they're entertaining. So let's talk to old Gabus. Gab Gabus or Gabus. Either or man, he doesn't care. Okay, so his son is good. I got five silver out of it. Uh, how is it? <sighs> good, good, human. Those garbage will help. need your help later with his eldest grandchild. There you go. That, that's how I think goblins talk. Oh, he's got another quest for me. Okay. The Gobfather Part 3. He just... He's got kids everywhere. Okay, so I need to save Gobson. And I'll get another five silver out of it. Awesome. And let's uh, repair our stuff. Repair equipped. Repair. Alright. And now we're going to go back to town. I love that introductory music. This game is so addictive, guys. Just gonna take a look at the Dragon Ball. So the Dragon Ball in the bottom right of the corner is actually the shop, the game shop. It's all sorts of cool stuff. If you click on this little avatar right here, it shows you what you're buying on your character, which is which is nice. So you're not kind of hoodwinked into a deal and you don't know what it looks like. Um, it's like on League of Legends when I buy a skin, I like to look it up online to make sure that it's something that I like aesthetically, right? Uh, so hot items, costumes. Hot items are normally like costumes and whatnot. Oh, okay. Uh, costumes. Some of the costumes are pretty cool. The popular ones kind of are lame in my opinion. I like this stuff. It's kind of cool. That's nifty. Alright, and then you have usable items. Uh, dual skill scroll, character expansion scroll for more character slots. Uh, portable storage kit. Class change. Character name change. I'm going to be using that myself because I gave my guy this horrible name. <laughs> And uh, pets. They don't have too many pets right now. They only have one page, and it's like bullpups, um, poochums, cats. Like, oh, it's so cute. That one's so cute. Oh my goodness. I I'm actually a sucker for purchasing, you know, stupid things like pets. Oh, pet accessories. Oh, okay, so there's actually these little subsections here too. Anyways, uh, we'll take a closer look at that later. I'll take a closer look at that later um, as I get further into the game. 
considering I'm only level 6 right now. Anyways, it's been fun. Thanks for watching. This is Keelan from 2Cats3Gamers, and it looks like we're going to be playing a lot of Dragon Nest. Uh, it's a great looking game. It's been out for a couple months. Download it. It's free with the Cash Shop model. Uh, please like the video. Subscribe. I'm going to be re releasing lots more videos. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.